you were giving your part, you were giving back, you were open, you were available, you were feeding the soil, you were wanting it to work, you were hoping this brand new passion of beginning would happen. And so anyways, we have the two of swords here. There is a decision to be made. There is a decision to be had. I think you know exactly what that decision is going to be. Uh, especially, and it's a decision you're going to have once you get this information. You can't, um, yeah, three of cups in reverse. There is no celebration on the horizon. Like this is, this is turned out to be an empty situation. Whether it's business, whether it's... Good morning, good day, and good evening, darlings. Welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, sending you all my love, light, and sprinkles, baby. Uh, what do I want to say? Virgo, this is for May. What do I want to say? This is for May. All right, let's get a doorway card. Virgos, what do you need to know from May? We're getting right to it. We ain't wasting no time. It is all about the reading. All right, your doorway card. Here we go. Change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Don't be alarmed as change beckons today. What are you leaving, Virgos? What are you leaving? There's some situation or some, something that is changing, obviously, significantly for this card to come out. New path, shifting, newness. Love it. Gotta love the newness. Gotta love it. Virgos, what do you need to know from May? This is a general collective reading. I channel energy. I also am uh, empath. I'm all the things. So um, I don't just read tarot. So this is not just a tarot reading. Most people think it is. And they're like, just read the cards. I don't read the cards, bro. The cards need me. All right. I don't need the cards. All right. Here we go. Virgo, what do you need to know from me, baby? There definitely is an ending. That is for sure, Virgos. That is showing up here. Uh, in May, you're going to get some communication kind of rushing in, kind of out of the blue. Unexpected message coming your way. It has to do with maybe work. Also, I feel like you're just really focused on work. Virgos, when you get this message, you've just been working really hard towards attaining financial stability and being stable and grounded. We have both the Page of Pentacles here as well as the King of Pentacles. So this is all about being financially grounded it's set uh it's also new ideas as far as maybe businesses goes or new ideas of things that you could do in this 3d world whether this is something you do for fun as a creative outlet or you actually do for work but there is this newness with this page of pentacles very young energy very new energy of something coming to the mind in the forefront the king of pentacles um he's very strategic with his money so this could be you virgos it may you could be really um uh, very resourceful is what I'm trying to say when it comes to your finances. There's definitely something here as far as having your guard up. Uh, it, there's something that that maybe when this message comes in, uh, you're like, I, I don't know, you're on guard about something. Something puts you on guard or you're already on guard. Nine of Wands is all about protecting your energy. You've been waiting for something to pay off for goes in the month of May, or you will be. There's going to be something that you're like, okay, I put in, I put in all this work now. Where is the corn? Like, say you're harvesting corn. You planted the seeds. Where's the corn? It's like you're waiting and waiting and waiting. I mean, she literally is waiting, 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 waiting for things to occur, for things to happen. There's something that you're waiting uh, for it to transpire, for it to take off, for it to bloom, all those kind of things. There is the death card showing up here. So that scorpionic energy, Virgos, something is happening in the month of May that you are completing a cycle with and letting it go. Whether this is a relationship, whether this is a partnership, whether this is a family member, friend, I don't know your situation. This is a collective reading. What I do know is that it's definitely showing up here that something is ending. And it's kind of like this connection is no longer uh, going to be a part of your energy moving forward. We have the Three of Swords here. There has been some kind of uh, deceit, some kind of hurt 
that has happened or will be happening in the month of May that you will be finding out about. It could have to do with this message that's coming in very quickly. Um, you thought there was going to be whoever this connection was with, if, if it's love or if it's business, I don't know. But you thought this was going to be this brand new beginning with this Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is actually in reverse. So it's like it's it it's like there is no forward in in all wands are all about passion right creativity inspired action um moving forward with intentionality and definitely being inspired um but there is no passion anymore in this situation like you just have lost you've kind of given up i feel like i'm gonna sneeze you have given up seeing this as a new beginning as the way to go so whether this is work it's like no you're just seeing this as like a dead end road it's not going to be this new start that you thought you're you're kind of like just changing directions but there's something that made you feel this way right and i feel like this information is something that will be revealed to you in may uh and that's why you have your guard up and that's why you're like, nah, I got to let this go. I was waiting for something to manifest, whether this was this person to do what they needed to do or a business to do what the, that needed to happen. And you're like, no, nope, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my losses and move on. It, but it is something that is definitely deep that you had a lot of feelings for because the Three of Swords is a card of complete devastation and heartbreak. So this is a big deal. This is something you definitely cared about. It's not something light is what I'm trying to say. So, um, and you thought it was going to be a passionate new beginning. So it's, it could be love. Absolutely. I mean, the death card has a, a love kind of situation on it. I'll show it to you. So anyway, uh, we have the page of the page of swords and it's in reverse. Like you just don't see a beginning with this, this situation anymore. The page of swords also is a card about spying. It's, it's spy guy. It's inspector gadget card. You're just no longer into it. You're not into it. You're not having it. You don't care anymore. You're no longer, you don't need to spy on anybody. You don't, you don't need to do any of that. The devil card came out. So there is something that is going to be revealed that is manipulative somebody who is pulling strings unnecessarily for their greater good you're like over here like i'm just trying to be happy <laughs> i'm just trying to live my best life with the with the sun here like i am not trying to be caught up in all of this it's like i think you really are going to be taken by surprise and that's why there's all this three swords here because you just really can't believe that this person would do this with this information that you're finding out about and basically finding out that they had devilish tendencies, right? Manipulation, lying, deceitful, narcissist, whatever. Um, because you fed into this situation. You were, you were giving your part. You were giving back. You were open. You were available. You were feeding the soil. You were wanting it to work. You were hoping this brand new passionate beginning would happen. And so anyways, we have the two of swords here. There is a decision to be made. There is a decision to be had. I think you know exactly what that decision is going to be. Uh, especially, and it's a decision you're going to have once you get this information. You can't, um, yeah, three of cups in reverse. There is no celebration on the horizon. Like this is, this is turned out to be an empty situation. Whether it's business, whether it's love, it's turned out to be something you didn't even think it was. You have the four of swords here. This is taking a time out, getting arrested. I think it's going to shock you. I think you're going to need a minute to collect your thoughts before you actually respond to this situation. We have the king of pentacles again. So the king of pentacles is showing up again. It makes me feel like part of this for a lot of you could be work. It may not just be love, even though I kind of alluded to that. It could be either or, so I want to be clear on that. But I feel like the, if this is a business partner, it actually came out in reverse. So like they were taking from you. They're not giving what they should. I don't know, but there's something not good with this. This They were greedy. Okay. So we have you taking this opportunity and moving forward with the Fool. The Fool is a card of a zero. It's a brand new beginning. In this deck, it's the infinity sign. 
the yin and the yang and the dog is getting ready to jump off that cliff and it's like I think you just cut ties at all costs and you're like I'm good like this is not this is not what I signed up for don't know how it got here in my life uh hurtful yes but I've got to move on it's it you're very practical with what is what is happening yeah justice will be served justice is going to be served karma is a bit real thing right karma is huge in my world like i strongly believe in karma and so you will get your due justice regarding the situation people can't do um lying deceitful manipulative things and get away with it especially to really good people it just it can't happen wrong is wrong regardless of they're good people or not but still justice will be served in your favor Libra energy and then we have you here you're definitely going to have your guard up you're definitely going to be very protective of your space and your energy especially after you take this time out and you really speak to this person uh you're definitely going to have your guard up and be like whoa <laughs> uh take take five steps back bro we ain't doing we ain't like that no more that's what this is <laughs> it totally is we ain't like that no more I'm done. Like, and it's like, I don't know if this is a Virgo trait, but I know it's a Cancerian one. It's like, once you're done, like you're so done. Like there is no, there is no gray. There is no in between. It's either like we're, we're good and we're cool. Or if like, we're not good, we're really not good. Like they're like, you don't exist, bro. You don't exist to me. You're not even a thought in my mind. So anyways, we're going to recap this, but Virgos, you are dealing with someone, you're going to get some information coming in. The first card was this Knight of Swords. There's information that's rushing in on May having to do with some manipulative, lying, deceitful behavior. Having to do with money and finances. We had the Page of Pentacles here. Uh, we had the King of Pentacles here. And uh, we had the King of Pentacles actually twice. And this one came out in reverse. So I feel like this is somebody who is trying to take from you. To trying to rock your stability to somebody who was selfish somebody who cared more about their own gains than the greater good of both people so this could be love it could be business take it how it resonates for you you're definitely going to have your guard up when you hear this information you're actually going to take some time to evaluate what you just heard because it's extremely shocking to you because you've been waiting for something you've been waiting for something to manifest to show up to bloom to create maybe even for this person and it's like really this is what's happening this is what i'm hearing i've been waiting to hear this and it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking to you with the three of swords here it's something that definitely you had a lot of feelings for um yeah it, somebody or some, a situation you had a lot of feelings for and they completely just broke your heart the ace of wands you thought this was something that you were going to move forward with with inspired action it was going to be this brand new beginning this could be love this could be business but you thought it was going to move forward in such a way and there was a lot of passion and excitement and um exhilaration about this new opportunity coming in this new path together with whoever this manipulative energy is and it's like no that's not happening this new beginning with this person is not what it is they presented themselves as something else than other what than other they presented themselves as something else other than what they truly are they were wearing a mask they were lying they were deceitful and i feel like they took from you and i would check your accounts I don't know if this has to do with like money or business. I would check things because I feel like they were shady with money, like heisting, not heisting, but like hiding money in different places. Um, there's going to be justice that is served. If they did steal from you, they are going to, they are going to get their justice, whether it's karma, 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 as far as justice goes or actual legal justice some of these people actually broke the law so there could be some legal justice happening and being handed down uh, I feel like <laughs> this person has been waiting to tell you something they've been watching you whoever this is giving you this message they've known about this they've known about the situation there is not any you thought this was gonna be like the best partnership with celebrations and having a good time and it has turned into the opposite Somebody has really disturbed your peace as far as 
uh, you thought this was going to be like this happily ever ending with this new beginning. And unfortunately, it's not. Um, you definitely are going to have your guard up when you have this conversation with them. You definitely are cutting ties completely with the death card. That is that decision you're making to cut the ties. You're starting off brand new all over again, brand new cycle. And you definitely fed into this and gave to the situation and you're just no longer doing it any longer. Congratulations on recognizing your worth and no longer allowing negative lying energy to take advantage. I feel like if you would have known sooner, you would have cut this off sooner, but you found out when you were supposed to, and at least you didn't put any more time or energy into it. When you speak to them, they are going to um, try to lie, and it's just, it's silly. It's silly. Like, I'm seeing it. It's silly. Anyways, change beckons. The path is shifting. The road leads a new way. Do not be alarmed as change beckons today. Oh my God. That was the first card. Okay. Talk about change in this whole reading. All right, Virgos. If you want to vibe high with this tribe, subscribe. If you are aligned with me, bro, check out the playlist because I'm sure there's a video on there for you. Like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be entered into a free reading with moi. If you want to be a part of the VIP private group, definitely hit that link so you can join us. We're growing it together. It's going to be awesome. And that's all I got for you. Congratulations, though, on uh, standing for who, what you are. And know that this new path is going to be way better than what you thought that old path was going to be. Blazing in the new. And that was just shown with that full card, you are getting ready to start over on something new and jumping off that cliff in a new way. Congrats.